Hey guys, this is Avinia. Welcome back to Navin Automation Lab. So again, uh, I have come up with a new topic today that is, uh, do I support full stack UA or do we have something like this full stack UA or full stack SZ engineers? And what is my opinion? Maybe your opinion could be different in this particular matter, in this particular subject, but what exactly I think about it? There are a lot of discussions are happening on LinkedIn and then, and then, um, yeah, I discuss with other folks also. In fact, I'm getting a couple of emails that Naveen, uh, how to become a full stack UA. And I was like, <clears throat> what do you mean by full stack UA? <clears throat> what is the meaning of full stack SJ over there? And uh, then I got to know that, okay, yeah, some requirement and some GDs are like that. And I really don't understand that according to my understanding that full stack development we have, full stack a dev profile we have, we say that, okay, yeah, I have a couple of friends who are actually, they do the backend work, they do the uh, API level uh, development also and they do the front end and react and devops also they do that but full stack SZ again that is I would say a totally buzzword totally uh, jargons people are using it and I would say totally marketing gimmick by the by certain companies over there as such I don't believe in this particular terminology that we have that something uh, SZ or full stack SZ or full stack QA and people who are uh, you know marketing such terms and I totally you know against with that that is personally my opinion because a uh, full stack means you have to be really good in everything in every area you have to be really good for that particular testing for example let's say you have to do the requirement analysis testing also that time then you have to do the uh, back-end testing front-end testing database testing API testing microservices testing then you have to do your UI automation also manual function testing also you have to perform and then you have to be really good in penetration testing performance performance engineering security testing volume testing load testing each and every things and involved with the devops activities also though according to me that is i think that's uh, no one can become such you know rock star or maybe superman kind of stuff so that is totally uh, i think uh, totally not required to give such uh, terminology and use such a, a certain terminology for the qa people just like full stack QA. It is just like if someone is saying that, okay, I'm the full stack QA, I'm always ready to debate that, okay, if you are a full stack QA means you are absolutely fine. You are absolutely know about each and every tool and technology that you are using it. And generally we have currently in the market, it means you are good in performance also, you are good in security also, you are good in uh, uh, backend automation also, microservices automation also, you are doing it and then you are doing the test automation. Along with that, you are writing your test cases, proper function testing also, you are doing it. And then uh, you are involved with the DevOps activities as well. And you are doing some hardware testing, operating system testing over there. And then every, like full stack means the complete stack of the product development, you are involved for the testing point of view. That is, I think uh, no one can become such master. In fact, I cons I never consider myself that, okay, I'm the full stack QA or full stack dev. There are so many tools, technologies, daily basis are there in the market. <clears throat> If you are getting the pressure of that, okay, no, you have to become a full stack UA in the market, that guys, that uh, it's a disadvantage for you. I'm pretty much sure because uh, you have to learn so many things on a daily basis. A lot of things are coming every month, every day, new tools, technologies are coming, right? So please do not follow certain things, whatever you are doing, just perfect in that particular area and then improve your uh, testing craft over there. In fact, I would advise to the organizations also or the management also that please do not follow certain terms that full stack UA or full stack SZ position, something like this. No one can become full stack SZ or full stack QA or automation, something like this. In fact, I, I really don't understand that for development also that full stack QA is really needed or not. Sorry, full stack development is needed or not. I have a couple of friends whenever I was, uh, in fact, in the today morning also I was working. I mean, I was talking to one of my friends and he was working with VMware and he told that, okay, I have a team where three people are full stack UA, but they never involved in all the activities of the uh, full stack UA over there or full stack development over there. And he clearly told that, okay, I'm working as a backend engineer. I try to learn something with respect to React and everything and then a DevOps, but I still am not able to concentrate on each and every tools and technologies and then the complete X stack. It's really, really difficult to maintain that. If someone is claiming that also, maybe, you are expert you have to be expert otherwise uh, if you just know the basic stuff then it doesn't mean that okay you are a, a full stack guy or full stack qa or full stack development guy that is my personal opinion uh, you tell me guys that what exactly you think about it about this particular terminology that is it the right thing to use for the qa or it's unnecessary gimmick 
or market marketing gimmick i would say that or unnecessary jargons people are using used by certain people in the market that okay no i'm the full stack guy i'm the full stack recruiter i'm the full stack developer or i'm the full stack ua as such uh, uh, it's such a bogus term according to me okay so let me know what do you think about it and uh, let's spread this particular message that okay guys i think we should not follow certain unnecessary terminology for the especially with the qa point of view so that's all i really wanted to cover because a lot of people were asking it was really difficult to type in the mail i thought of preparing this video so that uh, we can get your opinion as well and i can share my opinion with you guys as well so thank you so much thanks for watching the automation labs please uh, subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues please uh, click on the notification bell icon guys that is so that you will get a notification for the next video and you will not miss any single video from the channel till then take care bye bye and happy new year to all of you